How's it going everybody? It is Unknown Coder and I'm back with another video or another episode of building my website. And before I get into this, I just want to quickly remind you guys that this is not a tutorial. I'm not, I'm not trying to teach. I'm just showing you guys the process of me going through and building a website. I've been getting comments recently saying, can you show this? Can you show that? Can you do a tutorial on this? I'm in the same boat as the people commenting this. I don't know really what's going on i've done some projects with react but i've never done anything as serious as this like this is going to be like a legit website for a business that i want to run so like i'm pretty much just going through this and learning as i go so with that out of the way let's get right into what we're working on today so today we are working on an image slider that you see in like some websites where it shows like pictures of like a computer and then has some text or whatnot and then it's like you can click on a button and it slides left or right so i thought this was actually going to be a pretty easy undertaking and then it turns out that it ended up being a lot more research and a lot more fiddling i found two or three different ways to do it um the first way was okay but it wasn't really working the way i wanted it because you couldn't scale it up and down but i think in the end it doesn't matter if i can scale it up and down i think it's, i'm still going to have it to 100 percent view width but anyway so i, I tried one way on a test project just to see if I could get to work and make the modifications that I wanted and it didn't quite work out how I wanted to. So then I found another way and that and that tutorial slash test took probably like four hours, five hours to go all the way through the videos, code it, mess around with it, change styles, stuff like that. But fortunately the second time around after I put all that work in I finally found a, um, a solution that I actually liked. So pretty much it's a slider that takes up the whole top i think i don't know like three or four hundred pixels a page it's going to be three or four hundred pixels no matter what it's not gonna the height of it isn't going to scale the background image is going to be able to be changed so right now i just have it as a black background image but as i as i work along and as i get like professional work done or professional like image edit, editing done i'll be able to add like custom backgrounds to those images and it'll still scale hopefully nicely and then the other thing that I was worried about is I could not get things to center inside the div of the one that I tried first. So I finally figured out how I could like use a um, use an image inside of like the, the whole thing. Pretty much the first one was a lot less flexible than the one that I found. I also had to make a lot of changes from the tutorial because they were using some really weird technologies and stuff. So I pretty much adapted it to just be vanilla JavaScript or vanilla React instead of all of the extra um, libraries and stuff they're using. And that was the main re other issue is that a lot of the tutorials on YouTube that show you how to do this, and I, I'm only using the tutorial for stuff like the nav bar and the uh, and like the slider and stuff because the CSS that is involved in that is way more advanced than I'm used to. If it was just straight up um, like React and JavaScript, I might have been able to do it. We had to do like um, a bunch of transitions and stuff that I'm not really too sure about like how it works and stuff so that's why i use that so anyway i think that the the um carousel slash image slider turned out well it's going to be able to be expanded i can put as many or as few um pictures in it so obviously i'm going to need more than one image but i can do like two images three images so on and so forth so if i want it i'm going to start out by displaying one of each of my products I'm gonna have start out with three products, so I'm gonna have three slides with a picture of the image, with a picture of the computer, and like a description or whatnot. And then, um, yeah, so pretty much that's what uh, the slider is gonna be. I want to say that I meant to upload last week on Tuesday, but unfortunately I got busy. I've been really busy with school lately. I was gonna touch on this. I've had exams, and my senior design project has also been pushing me to do a bunch of stuff. So if Ever I like miss an upload or like I only upload on like Tuesday or only upload on Thursday just realize that I'm being uh, I'm very like busy like this weekend I'm going to try to make a, a portfolio to display my work which will still probably go on in a bunch of other class product projects that way I can try to get my name out there more and stuff because the hiring process is not going great I had an interview I didn't do great in the coding section so I need to practice some more so yeah I think that's gonna be pretty much it Next episode, we're going to be working on the homepage a little bit more. So I'm going to be working on the um, like the the company missions page. It's just going to be like a little piece of text that says whatever the whatever I'm going to figure out. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to say yet. So I'll just put some like dummy text in there for now. 
And then I'm also going to work on product cards and rendering those product cards out the way that I like them. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day, everybody. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Peace out.